six-person team from aerospace, calling itself Team Platypus, took part in a DARPA event called a Hackfest. DARPA is the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, and a Hackfest is like a music jam session for engineers. DARPA brings up a problem or a shortfall in technology. In this case, it was how to hand off control of drones when obstacles are in the way. The teams had a week to bring their best talent to solve it. Kyle Logue was the team lead. We've got uh, secure RSA authentication between all nodes. Uh, we've got a mesh network, so everybody's transmitting and receiving on the same frequency. Every node in the network, whether that's a UAV or a ground station or just a repeater, um, they all have the public keys for all the other nodes in the network. Hackfests are designed to accelerate innovation and build common platforms and skills among the engineering community. Team Platypus took on two scenarios at once, showing how a swarm of drones can be handed from one operator to another with an obstacle, in this case a simulated mountain, in the way. They can initiate a handoff uh, request. At that point, the drone will start sending all telemetry down to the new Team 1, and Team 0 will be able to see that that drone is no longer talking to them. They see that it's talking to Team 1. At that point, Team 0 can take whatever drones are still in their network, bug out, and leave. So this is both the mesh and the handoff in a single scenario. Hackfests are not competitions, and there are no prizes. All teams worked with the same equipment, and the solutions are promising for the future of drone technology. The, the challenge was, you know, a, oh, a couple drones today, right, with what they can do logistically, but, you know, the vision is to have thousands of drones. The team worked nearly nonstop for a week to build and modify the equipment, and Kyle Logue said he believed the DARPA judges were interested in what aerospace showed them. Mm -hmm.